Want to know how to cut glass using a glass cutter tool? I demonstrate two different bottle cutting machines and at the end of the video, I will share some tips on how to fix those imperfect cuts. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY, where I hope to help you Imagine the possibilities with DIYs and crafts. If that sounds like fun, consider subscribing. Now let's just jump into the materials we will need for this project. You're gonna need some safety gear, so gloves, a face mask so you don't inhale any glass when sanding, and eye protection. I used two different bottle cutters because one of my bottles was so large it didn't work with this one. Then you just need some sanding paper. For a faster sand, use this cordless drill with a sanding drum kit. And if you have any imperfect cuts, that's when the Dremel comes into handy with your diamond wheel and diamond bits. This is my first time using the Fixin bottle cutter machine. While unwrapping, there's a bunch of accessories, a ruler, some sandpaper, and L brackets to help you cut square bottles. This video, I'm just demonstrating round cuts. And this rubber cone piece will actually help hold a wine bottle that has a indent at the bottom. And you can also use it for bottle necks to cut them off as well. I'm cutting an apple cider vinegar bottle, which is a flat bottom, so I don't need the cone piece. So the first step for cutting glass bottles is to remove your label. And in the description box below, I'll put a link to my previous video that demonstrates three different ways to remove glass labels. You can place the glass bottle on the cutter to make sure the wheels are wide enough for your bottle to lay flat and so it touches the blade. And just use your Allen key to adjust the settings if need be. Just put the bottles on, wear your protective gear, and slowly and steadily with even pressure, press down and rotate the bottle completely around, making one full score line. Take your time with the score line. The better the line, the cleaner the cut. Now using boiling hot water and ice water, we're going to shock the glass so it cracks along the score line. You'll start to see your line become more visible as it starts to crack open. This cut was pretty good. Be aware and continue to wear your safety gear because you never know where when the glass will break. It might be in the hot water or the ice water. Now for sanding. To make it go faster, I was using my cordless drill with a sanding drum kit. First, you wanna sand the top of the glass to try to keep it completely even around the entire glass. Then you can tilt it on a 45 degree angle to do a bevel on the inside in the rim and the outside so you don't get those sharp edges. Then with a finer grit, I just lay a piece of sandpaper on my table, flip it upside down and rotate it in circular motions. The next bottle I had was quite large. It was actually too big for the Fixum's bottle cutting machine for the depth that I wanted it. Fixum can cut a maximum of six inches in depth. And this GP Tech can cut a maximum of eight. For my needs, I actually need about seven. On this glass, I actually used a piece of blue tape to mark where I would start my score line so I don't overlap. And while you're turning your glass, you should hear somewhat of a scratching sound. You also don't want to overlap the score line because it may break in unfavorable directions. Since this bottle is also too large to fit inside my pots, I use just the pour over method. My bottle cutter on the GP Tech is a little old and dull, so my cut wasn't very clean. Tip number one. My this cut was pretty rough. So I used my Dremel with a diamond bit for some heavy sanding. 
Always use a water bottle to spray it down to help minimize the dust and just makes the process a lot smoother. And you want to start with a large bump first. Since it is a large bump but relatively small in width, it was easy to get that down and then go back to the cordless drill and the flat sandpaper. Tip number two. For this cut, everything was clean except for this one area. So I used a diamond wheel bit in my Dremel just to cut that down. Then I can go right for my screw gun with the sanding bit to clean it all up. Now when the cut is this bad, when the, the diamond wheel bit will be too much and of course you can't even imagine trying to sand all that, just rescore and try again. There, now that looks so much better. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to watch the blooper at the end and I will see you guys next week. Hi, my name is Kim with Kim Imagine DIY. Why?